I'm Andy from Dartmoor National Park. I've come out to East Dartmoor National Nature Reserve to see if I can get a glimpse of an elusive bird, the nightjar. These are summer visitors coming to Dartmoor around about May time and they're here till around about September time before they head back to Africa. And they come here to breed on Dartmoor's heathland areas. And I'm really hoping to, that I'm gonna hear them because they make this amazing noise. The males uh, make this churring noise and they sound a bit like a car going up and down through the gears. And if we're really lucky, we might just catch a glimpse of one flying around my head as it starts to go dark. They're out hunting for uh, insects and creatures at this time of night. Uh, so rather like swallows and swifts during the day, hunting for insects and bats uh, later on in the evening, then these birds are trying to hunt these insects. And this is a bird that needs our extra protection. Between the 70s and the 90s, uh, researchers discovered that the bird had declined by nearly 50%. Uh, but it has started to recover a bit in some places, uh, but it's still on the amber list, so it really needs looking after and protecting. I think I might be able to hear something over there. So can you hear? There's one over there in that woodlandy area. close by. really cool so there is one just flying around just around my head wow this is an extra little bonus i've just come across some glow worms here i've just got a little glow oh it's just moved out of the way oh, right there it goes just trying to get itself in the right position to attract a mate now it's only the females that glow and they're not actually worms at all, they're little beetles, about 25 millimetres or an inch long. And they glow to try and attract a mate. As soon as they've mated, they turn their little light off and they lay their eggs and then they die. And these eggs then hatch out after two weeks or so. And then over the course of one or two summers, the larvae grow, feeding on little tiny snails which they apparently paralyze and then suck dry. Now, if you come across a glowworm, it is a fantastic thing to discover, uh, but please leave them where you find them. Don't be tempted to collect them. They are very fussy little creatures, so leave them where you are. So, hope this has inspired you to get out and maybe go on a nocturnal walk uh, go and explore a bit, maybe on the edge of the moor or your local wood or park. See what you can find. And of course, we would love to hear how you get on. So of course, share anything that you find with the hashtag Dartmoor Connections. Uh, so until next time, happy exploring. Take care now.